Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And this is going to be kind of a short video introducing some additions I decided to add to the month of November. So if you watch my original uh, November intro, I'm covering Native American uh, children's books as well as some Smithsonian uh, information provided by the Smithsonian for digital information on Native Americans. This is kind of similar to September, which was packed full of Harry Potter. And I decided to add some fun stuff to escape the Harry Potter. So in that month, particularly book-wise, I covered Tremora Pierce's The Circle of Magic Quartet. This month, I'm covering both the Circle Opens Quartet as well as The Will of the Empress, which kind of as a capstone to that book. Tremora Pierce has two more books, what she calls The Circle Reforged. Um, which is Battle Magic and Melting Stones. I'm not going to cover those yet because they're weird. Uh, Battle Magic covers Briar uh, in Yang Jing, so it actually takes place before the Will of the Empress after Street Magic, which is the, I think the, the second book in the Circle of uh, Magic. And then Melting Stones takes place after the Will of the Empress, but focuses on his student Edie. So it's kind of weird. And it was also never originally meant to be a physical book. It was just meant to be an audio book. So, uh, and they did end up putting it in physical form. I do own them. Um, I have hardback copies of both of them. I bought them later, but I'm not gonna cover them quite yet. The other thing I'm gonna cover is I'm gonna cover some fun films. This is just my random grouping. So, and not all of them are child friendly because Down Periscope is um, not. It's a Kelsey Grammer movie about submarines and there's some sexist jokes some penis jokes don't watch it with anything that's not kid that's probably not more than a middle schooler and then your discretion I enjoy it I probably wouldn't watch it with my kid until they're middle school maybe high school because again some sexist jokes some penis jokes um, some few other slightly off color jokes but it was 90s uh, the other film is 80s and it's Real Geniuses, which is again very, it's a uh, Val Kilmer film from back in the 80s. I think it's 85, so it was actually filmed about a year after I was born. So again, aging me here. Um, but it, it's very 80s. So again, mild sexism, very inaccurate science, um, some slightly inappropriate behavior going on there. Again, similar middle school to high school. And your high schoolers might glare at you because this is, again, it's 80s. And very 80s tech and very kind of 80s. The school in this is modeled after Caltech, as so many are in a lot of these things. It seems to be a very, very popular school with film people. But again, they're not exactly there. The other films I co I'm covering are two very family friendly. One is Secondhand Lions, and for some reason I cannot remember my first one. Um, and Secondhand Lions, and let's see, Labyrinth. So we have, again, 80s. Labyrinth is, I'm trying to think, probably late elementary into high school. It's the last uh, feature film of Jim Henson, who's known for Muppets, as well as things like The Dark Crystal and Fraggle Rock, again, 80s. Um, but you know, the, he's the master, he was the, one of the best masters of practical special effects and puppetry. So, and it's a very, very nostalgic film for a lot of people. It's become a cult classic with David Bowie. Uh, so I'm covering that, and the, the other one's actually far more modern, which is Secondhand Lions, at least modern in the sense of all of these films. It came out in 03. So, that's that's probably the most family friendly film I'm doing. This is definitely uh, similar, kind of similar to Labyrinth. Labyrinth gets a little dark. Um, obviously, you can still watch it with young kids. They'll probably be slightly confused by it. Most people are slightly confused by it. It's a very it's a very confusing movie. Second Headline makes more sense. Um, it's Hallie Joe Osmond's last film, um, at supposedly as an adolescent before he takes a break to grow up. And then you have Michael Caine and Robert Duvall. So definitely a family film, and those are thrown in there. Um, so that's that's my additions. I wanted to add some fun stuff. As much as I love the Native American kids book, they do kind of get kind of heavy. And I wanted to, uh, this is a chance for me to cover some of the Tamora Pierce books, which I love, and some of the fun movies that again are part of my own uh, personal DVD collection. 
and stuff that I enjoy watching that are light and funny and um, with Labyrinth just very, very bizarre. So that's the additions that I'm covering this month. So you check these videos out, check out um, my Native American stuff. Again, if you've been watching my channel, October is packed full of stuff. I finish off Harry Potter. I cover September, I cover not only do I finish start Harry Potter, I cover the Circle of Magic Quartet, which yes, if you wanna watch the Circle Opens, you need to read those first. Otherwise things don't make sense. Um, and a couple other, I think I have more family film, family friendly films coming in, that have been already filmed for September. And then I have a bunch of, uh, everything in December is family friendly. 100% family friendly. Unless of course you have issues with Jim Carrey um, dressed as the Grinch. But again, that's kind of on you. That's a family friendly film. At least it's supposed to be. So, and then I have a bunch of other stuff. I have some cooking stuff coming in January and African American stuff and Asian American stuff coming February and a whole bunch more stuff planned. So. Again, if you like what you see, like what my videos are, like and subscribe. Thank you.